Next we're going to go ahead and install the new cover onto the foam cushion. You can see the underneath side has the corresponding velcro just like the original factory one did. What you want to do is you want to line this up onto the cushion first with the velcro. You want to get the velcro lined up good first. So I kind of fold the cover up here. We'll start with this back. Well, I'll start with the front one actually. You want to kind of get that centered up. And go ahead and push that front line in. Go ahead and push it down so that velcro wraps on tight there. Now you can see this double kind of the groove going all the way down it. That groove is kind of your seam line too. So you'll see when that, when that matches up, it'll kind of roll over. That way it's not too far forward or too far back. You can kind of see it roll over and kind of match up with that the seam line there. So we're going to go ahead and velcro this all the way down to the corners. Okay, got the front corner there. Put it on here. Keep that good and tight there. Okay, I'm going to velcro the rear part. Push that down real good. I'm just following the line back of this, following the stitch line back there, and just pushing it, pushing it down tight so that you get a real good hold with that Velcro on there. Okay, I'm going to run that down the line there. Okay, now that our Velcro surface is on, we're going to start rolling the cover over the foam. So what you're going to need to do is put your hand on the inside corner here and kind of put your fingers along the stitching line. Kind of line it up like there, okay? And then you want to roll your hand over the corner. That really helps to get a good, good tight fit over the corners. It keeps it from getting any kind of wrinkles and stuff along it. It really helps it to smooth, smoothly go over the corners there. Okay, we're going to keep building that all the way to the back here. strip here which is going to hook onto the fuzzy side here. So we pull it down as tight as we can. We're going to stretch that down here. The same down here as well. Pull that, pull that in real good and tight. Get that velcro down. Just try to keep pulling and get as tight as you can get it there. So that's hooked on. Okay, now we're going to start doing the hog rings around the border here to go ahead and connect the cover to the bottom. All right, we're going to go ahead and hook this long plastic clip. Only one of the four sides has this plastic clip, and it just simply pulls over and latches onto this long rail here. So get that to clip on all the way down. Okay, now that that's there, what you'll need is when you're when you get the cover you'll get a little bag here will be inside the box with your cover it's got the hog rings inside it go ahead and dump those out all this is a big staple that kind of hooks and when you crimp it down it'll, it'll kind of crimp into a triangle holding it on now if you got a set of hog ring pliers uh, that makes it real easy um, if you don't have some you can buy them I found them on eBay for anywhere from three or four bucks up to 20 or 30 but um, what all it is, is it has a groove cut on the inside of the plier for the uh, for the ring to sit in, so it makes it pretty handy. If you don't want to buy a set of pliers, you can always use a set of needle nose pliers here as well. And I'll I'll do a couple of the rings on here with the, with the needle nose as well as the actual hog ring pliers. So we're going to start across the back here, and just you can ring across these holes here, um, here, we're in a couple here, and there. I'm going to pull it down. You know, make sure you line up your hole there and crimp that on. Then the next ring in. Now, 
turn this corner off here. here we go. Now, when you're going down the side and you see these the stitching line there, you want to. I usually try to get it on the other side of that line so it gives it real something to pull on too. If you get it on the other inside of that of the stitch seam, it can come off a lot easier. I'm going to go ahead and do, show you one with using a regular set of even nose pliers. If you don't have the hog ring pliers or don't want to buy a set, I go ahead and set it on there. Now you could, it could bust loose off there, but if it does, just grab you another hog ring and give it a whirl. Just go squeeze it on there, and it grips just as, just like the other one. There we go, just as good. All right, for this last. The only piece we got left is this front stretch here. I'm going to go ahead and set this flat on the bench. This will allow me to, to pull here and get a real good tight fit on it. So earlier I clipped the hog rings on this bag here. I'm going to go ahead and ring those back on. Hook that there. This little bag has your air motor for your lumbar a little air pump for your lumbar deal. That's what that bag is if you're wondering. Okay now we go ahead and stretch stretch this good and tight. Go ahead and ring that in there. There we go. There's one. There's two. three. There we go. Now we've got all our hog rings on. Next thing we need to do is we need to go ahead and get the frame back on, go ahead and get our power clips back on and bolt it back up.